I'm Yuri. I'm Jacob. And we're going for a drive. 2024 Kaya Sorrento. With launch control. Kaya, eh? Okay, there's no launch control. Certified ripper. <laughs> Horsepower and torque. 281 horsepower, 311 pound-feet of torque from a turbo 2.5 liter four-cylinder. Okay, I'm gonna put it in eco, slow her right down and floor it like I had to avoid something in traffic or merge. It's really quick. That's that's dad fast for sure. Yeah, for sure. This is great. This <laughs> Kia is great. Yo, what'd they do different to this car? Everything, sort of. Everything? Okay, so this is or a... three things. This is a refresh. Well, there's a lot of things. Uh, let's talk about the exterior first, especially from the front end. We got new headlights, new bumpers, all that fun stuff up front. Okay, the headlights are different. We got the yellow lines. Looks amazing. Amber, Yuri. Yeah, amber. And the tail lights are slightly different pattern as well, and they look good. And they're full LED. They just look so good, but not out of control. Every Kia does this. Whoever is in charge of DRLs and taillights at Kia should be the CEO of Kia. Yes, they do such a good job of like signature lighting patterns. It just looks great. Like there's nothing wrong with it ever. No, and this considering a refresh, like the front end looks vastly different than the last one. And this is not the hybrid and we know that because uh, it, that one did not get refreshed. Yes, which I assume will be getting refreshed for 2025. That's, a, that's an assumption. Interesting take. <laughs> yes, uh, maybe they just didn't have enough computer chips for headlights or something. What would you call this color? Uh, is it is it flat gray but a little bit beige? If I had to call it a sentence, it would be that. Yeah, yeah, I think that's the new color code we're gonna we're gonna give it. Flat gray with a little bit of beige. Yes, it's okay. I, I don't mind it. Anything that's not exactly flat gray is good. Yeah. And then uh, for some reason, they put the electric -y wheels on here from the uh, EV9. I do like how they look, but they're a little strange on this trim, this being the X line. It's kind of like off-roady. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's cool that they're blacked out because if they weren't blacked out, then it would look exactly like the EV9 wheels. Right. Yeah, it's the one time I'm okay with black wheels when they're a copycat from a different one. <laughs> and especially when they're running on a Continental Cross Contact LX Sport. Heck yeah. That is the recommended tire for this vehicle that comes from the factory on these. Is that why it's so smooth and so quiet in here? It must be actually. Like, right. listen, listen. I know. That's nice. I bet 98% of that is tire. Okay, uh, other stuff. Okay, so this is the X line, which means it gets a suspension lift slightly. And then we also have roof rails on the outside. Nice. I don't think I would need that. No, but that's about it that you get for the uh, off-roadiness. <laughs> yeah, because it was, there's a, there's X an X-Pro, I X think, Pro. above this. Yeah. Or something like that. And in, in the States, I think this is like an X-Line SX something. Yeah, there's there's a little, there are a few too many yes. versions of stuff. And by the way, this is a three-row SUV. It's a cheater three-row, but that back row is surprisingly usable. Yeah, and it's not a seven-seater, it's a six-seater because it's just two in every row, but I actually fit in the third row like relatively comfortably for something this size. And the cool thing about that is uh, for cheater three-row, if you have car seats, like you can't fit three across right. for like three different size kids usually, but like I've got one uh, booster seat back there and you can like put in all four and then with that middle thing, like a kid can get to the back and you can get to the back to strap in a kid pretty easily. So I think for three kids, this would be better than a two row. You know what I mean? And yep. you don't need to go full minivan. Yep. And then uh, we also have peasant blockers back there in the second row, which is great. And yeah. we even have heated seats so you can heat your booster as well. And a big moonroof. I don't think you, yeah. Yeah. Hey, did you know that like, okay, there's some cars that have uh, airbags in the seatbelts. Yeah. Then you can't use those for like click tight. Oh, little... interesting. Yeah. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, car seat stuff, eh? Yep. And these seats are very comfortable up front. No. I found them very comfortable. That lumbar? Yeah, just deflate it. The, then, then you can't use it. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I, I found, just don't. I found the lumbar feels like it's like a like a piece of plywood pushing against my back. If that's, you do use it, it's not great. That's the part I don't like. And then the headrest is pretty nice. You can move it forward and back. And it does ratchet. Yeah, yeah, so that part's nice. You wanna drive? Sure. Oh, wow. You get auto hold off on.
That's good power. Like really good power, other than the initial thing from the uh, auto start, st start, stop. Do the paddles work well? I don't know, I haven't tried. So we got an eight speed in here, let's go downshift. Ooh. Okay, shift that red line. That's not bad. Uh, the whole thing's a red line, right? <laughs> <laughs> Gear cluster looks kinda cool. I, I've been shifting the correct time the entire time. Um, but powertrain wise, this is great. Like really, really good. I hope it's reliable, but. Maybe yeah, some kids blow up. Some of them do. I don't know if this is included in the ones that blow up. Yeah, let us know in the comments below which Kia motors blow up. Yeah, because there are some, for sure. Allegedly. No, there are some. It's not alleged. I don't. I just want to forget. <laughs> There's been myself. recalls. I don't. I don't. And extended warranties. I don't know exactly what it is. So I just want to say allegedly. And then we got a bunch of drive modes down here. We got some off-roady modes, but I'm driving in sport mode for no reason. But this eight-speed is really, really nice. And then we can also shift with this normal shifter, which is cool to have a normal shifter in a 2024 vehicle, which feels archaic it, in a good way. It's so pleasant. You're just and this like, damping. Ah, normal. Oh, the damping is really good in this over the bump and cliche. You think that ride height helps? Uh, probably not. Okay, here we go into cliche corner. Wow, this turns in way better than I expected. Dude, these tires, I guarantee it's the tires. Like, this is ripping way harder this, than it should. They should not have gripped no, that hard. No, no, it should have been understeering, should have been Mad. squealing. And Yo. the traction's off, so like, it's, damn. It's so nice to have such a good sponsor. Oh, uh, it's lovely to have such a good sponsor like Continental. Thank you, Continental, for sponsoring us for so many years with such a great product. And for all of you guys in the comments who support us by buying these lovely tires, we you're appreciate welcome. we appreciate you. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome for us pushing such a great sponsor onto you guys because honestly these tires are fantastic. That was that 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 it shouldn't have done it that. It shouldn't have done that. Yeah. That felt good. <laughs> well then it does say sport on them, right? It does, yeah, yeah. Okay, your gauge cluster, you can't get your speedo in the middle. Ah, uh, because it's Remember, the new style. Yeah, eh. Like the almost like the EV style. I know, I just want it in the middle. And then no head-up display in this one, which is nice because we don't really need it. And then we got two 12-something inch displays which are seamlessly put together, which there's a split in the middle, whatever. And we have Apple CarPlay. Is it wired and wireless? Wired or wireless, yes. Which is really nice. USB-C. Android Auto, I'm sure, as well. Uh, this is the new style whole thing, which it's not really laggy, which is really nice. The inputs are all good. You know what? There's some things that suck. So, like, if we go to your Sirius XM, you have to, like, click so many buttons to get to different screens, which it's... It's not as good as like an old, that first Kia Soul Turbo. Yeah. Like that was perfect. The first Kia Stinger, perfect. But this looks nicer and I, and I get why it's probably better for selling. But I remember that those are also laggy. So it's like looking back, it's like Le I'd functionally rather, is. I'd rather have a little lag than like have to push three button clicks to do the same thing. I'd rather have no lag. But what's cool It'll is. It'll probably actually ironically take the same amount of time. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then what's cool is, uh, so you've got the shortcut key on your steering wheel. Yes, the star. If, if you hold that down, you get some settings for programming that stuff and you can program your uh, left and or your up down channel thing on your steering wheel to either be your favorites or random station or like stations in a row. Oh, that's cool. Not random stations. Yes. <laughs> it's, not, it's not a shuffle button. <laughs> but that's cool that you can switch it up. That is nice. And then you can program your your star button on this touch screen that switches from your climate to your buttons. You're not allowed to uh, barf or hate on this because no, I'm we reviewed the EV9 and you said that you'd prefer this. Over what? Over this. Over th Yeah, I prefer this over the EV9. Yes. That doesn't mean they're, they're not all bad. I know. Um, I'm so totally- I prefer eating like dog poop over cat poop. Like That's a good choice. Uh, actually, dog poop no, would probably have poop. more. Cat poop's easier. Though. Yeah, but dog would like have harder little clumps. But there's probably more protein in dog, dog poop. Dog, dog poop stinks. Yeah, well, yeah, really Not as badly. bad as cat poop. But then cat poop's gonna have uh, like litter stuff all over. It probably has like, uh, like little, um, like, uh, like parasites in it. Yeah, oh, I'm, sure I'm sure it all does. Well, not as bad as because like uh, pregnant women aren't supposed to pick up uh, cat poop. Oh right. Well, I think it's because of the cat dust. I think it's Something. for the dust from the litter. Anyways. Anyways, back to this uh, thing. I'm okay with this because back to the dog poop. <laughs> I, I live in auto climate, so I would basically just never touch the climate settings, and I'd be okay, okay with so, this. Okay, so what if you want your temperature different? I don't. I just turn the knob. You, ha you have to switch it to yeah, turn the knob. Right now you're in volume. Yeah, but I don't need to because I've already set it to 21, which I love. What if it's a little cold? 21 is 21. <laughs> you sound like a paid shill for Kia. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I got Kia Stinger in my driveway, Yuri. <laughs> Yo, I would put a Kia Stinger in my driveway. So would I. I love the first that gen first Kia Stinger. perfect. Oh, you guys nailed it with that one. That's the refresh, my, I think, my, I think that's so probably cool. the best car of the last decade. It's for for or any brand like surprising. the most surprising. Yeah. 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 Good job, Kia. Now bring that back. Uh, unfortunately, I think they're gonna bring it back as like an EV. Yeah. Done. Whatever. 
more good stuff. Uh, we got lane keep assist. Yeah, it's worked really well. Highway driving assist stuff on the way here. It's cool. Yeah, we got some gloss black down here, which I don't love. We do have a wireless charger down there, which yeah, is yeah. nice. And then we do have cup holders. Do they Square. fit cups? Yeah, yeah, they fit cups. And what about the visors? They probably slide. Three, two, one. Very light, but they do slide. Full pass. Hey, we have uh, wood material on the inside. Is it real wood? Wood-like. I'm going to check it with my microscope lens from Sam Mark. Shout out. No, that definitely uh, feels like plastic. I'm pretty sure I can see the printing material. <laughs> no. No. You know what? Let me get you a piece of wood. Here's a piece of wood that's been set on fire to prove that it's wood. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's see what real wood looks like. Yeah. I can see pores. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's real wood. Oh, that's real wood if I've ever seen it. So that's what we're looking for next time we uh, look at fake wood. <laughs> we'll bring this along every time. <laughs> I really want to get back into one of those Lincolns that like told us yeah. they had real wood and I'm like, I'm pretty sure this is fake wood. But the materials throughout here are like relatively soft touch. They look nice like on the door panels, the leather and whatever this that is. This is fine. This is great. Yeah, it is. And I like the big sunroof and the white headliner like that. That is really nice too. Yeah. I, uh, I actually really like this SUV overall. Yeah. I think it's great. Um, there's not much room behind the third row when you have that up. Right, but this is a cheater one. Yeah, but here's the thing. It's like, if you have three kids, yes. you probably have three kids worth of junk. I know, I know. So like, you have to go minivan. This is like, yes. I have two kids, and sometimes we need to pick up our neighbor. But then it's like, are you really buying a car to pick up your neighbor? Well, yeah, like soccer practice or Yeah, whatever. but what if they get injured for a year, and then you've got this car to pick up your neighbor that he can't even play for you? Like, I don't you just know. take extra soccer balls. Yeah. That's I it. guess, yeah. yeah. But like, it is cool. So if you are shopping for one of these and you do have two or three or maybe you're limited to about four kids, uh, go to tsp.truecar.com for discounted price offers. Yeah, or buy the old one, which is still the same year, but hybrid on there? Yes. Buy something. You get a discounted price offer if you use our link. And there's been well over a thousand people that have bought a car through that link. Like, yeah. verified. So that's... Shout out, shout out all y'all. Y'all getting discounts. Y'all. Y'all, is that cool to say y'all? I think, because that's what people in the South say, instead, unironically. And it's, that's instead of saying guys and girls, or guys and gals. It's just y'all. Y'all covers everything. It does. All right, Jacob, is that everything with... No, the towing, Yuri. Hit me with it. 3,500 pounds. Ah, uh, but I think there's one where you can tow more. I think it's the X-Pro? It's like 4,500? I think it's 4,000? I got one for you. What's that? Let's listen to it from the outside! Yo, shout out y'all for letting us have catchphrases. Because <laughs> when I was younger, I didn't think I'd have a catchphrase. Yeah. And uh, we should probably get to the price. Let's get to the price. <laughs> it starts at 38975 Canadian. And this one is 50975 That's still kind of a lot. Yeah. But fifty grand for a six-seater, fairly large-ish SUV, I guess that's okay. It's kind of... I'm sure you can get a Kia Telluride roughly around the same price. Can you get a Carnival for the same price? Carnival. Probably. Or an Odyssey, used, slightly used? Probably. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I There's a lot of options. I like used cars. Yeah, I love used cars. I've got a whole channel dedicated to my own used cars. Yeah, I'll put the link up at the end of the video. There's a link. Watch one, one of the videos. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Great car. And if you have one, let us know how much you like it. Yeah, I do recommend this vehicle as long as the engine is reliable. Shout out headlight taillight guy. Or gal. Shout out headlight taillight y'all. <laughs>